Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs once again. So today we have one more interesting pattern that is printing the alphabet pattern like that. Can you see on my screen where we have print A, then A B, then A B C, and A B C D, then A B C D E, and then A B C D E F. So we have to print the alphabet, the capital letter, not the star or any kind of other pattern. We just need to print the triangle order. You can see it like this, like first row one then second row two and then third row three elements and fourth row like that so how do we do this it's very simple and let's see so first uh, we will do the <clears throat> pattern over here let's see if we will do some uh, a dry run so first of what exactly i'm going to do that let's see i'm just going to print a pattern write a pattern over here like this so i want to print a a b then i want to print a b uh, c then i want to print a b c then a uh, d then i want to print a b c then d then e and the last row is a b c d e n f right so here you can observe that we have a a triangle over here so let me draw a triangle this is what we have to print and then uh, so this is what we have to print and if you remember that in the first program in the first video of the series we printed exactly similar kind of pattern but with the stars and I'll do one thing that I'll first uh, draw a table over here. So let me, this is a table. So let's see, this is my uh, first row. Then this is my second row. Then this is my third row. This is my fourth row. This is my fifth row, like that. And then I'll be drawing some columns as well. So let's see, this is my first column. This is my second column. This is my third column. This is my fourth column. This is and fifth column, like that. And then I'm, I'll be taking some numbers as well. So let's say this is my row one, two, three, four, five, and six. And for column also we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is a kind of table that we have to print. If you notice that, let's see first, let's design what kind of row we are going to maintain. So let's see row is maintained by I in, okay, in our logic. And then you can start the row from one to six also. Or you can write it like this as well, 0 to 5 also you can do that. Because here also it will give you 6 rows and here also it will give you 6 rows. Either you write 1 to 6 or 0 to 5. So total number of rows from 1 to 6 or 0 to 5 will remain constant. And then I'll be writing for the columns. So for the columns, let's see column is represented by J. Right. So what we have to do in the column, again, we have to start the column from, let's see J equal to 1 or J equal to 0 also we can write it. So let's see if I'm writing J equal to 0 and zero to what we have to write up to zero to less than equal to i if you notice one thing that in the see the first column this is the column will be moving from left to right and row will be moving from top to bottom so when you go to the first row we have one column second row or two columns three rows third column three rows are there fourth column or four rows uh, four elements are there on the fourth row so if you create a table for i and j for example let's say this is for i and this is for j so i is moving from one two three four five and six like that same thing for j is actually dependent on the value of i it means on the first row how many j values are available how many column values are available only one for the second one you can see only two values are available then for third row for third row how many columns are there three four five and six and so on like that so can't i say that okay yeah this actually j is totally dependent on i so totally dependent on i over here so that's why i'll start my 0 to less than equal to i so for the row i'll be using 0 to 5 and then for column i'll be using 0 to i over here and then when you print what you have to print see this we have to print a then we have to print a b then we have to print c then we have to print d then e and then f we have to print the alphabets we have to print a character so what exactly we can use a concept of ascii value we know that the ASCII value of capital A is equal to 65, right? Like this. And then small b is 66. Then C will be 67. Then D will be 68. Then E will be uh, 69. And then F will be 70 over here. So this is the kind of concept we can use it over here. So what exactly we will be using when we come inside this particular loop? Inside this loop, what exactly I'll be doing? Whatever the alphabet that you are getting, we will be initializing one alphabet with a equal to 65. And then what exactly this, let's see, this is my alpha variable we will be using, which is representing this first time. 
and what we will do we will do this alpha plus whatever the value of j is getting added because j will be moving from c1 then 2 3 4 5 6 and we will keep adding the value over here like 65 plus 0 then 65 plus 1 so 65 plus 1 will give you what 66 and then we will convert the 66 into character and then we will print it on the console inside my loop so this 66 will print you what the 66 will give you b this 65 will give you a over here like that so like this we will be keep printing it so let's see practically it's very simple guys the small logic that we have to add it while printing the value of uh, 1 2 3 or 65 or 66 the numeric value we have to print in the form of characters so i'll do one thing i'll start my for loop a quick outer loop with the let's say integer as i told you that integer i equal to 0 and i less than equal to 5 you can take it from i less than uh, 6 also that also you can take it i'm taking let's say i less than equal to 5 and then keep increasing the value of i by 1 and above that i'll take one more integer a variable let's say alpha variable which is equal to initially 65 right because you can see that initially i'm taking one alpha variable 65 over here which is the ascii value of capital a okay then what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to write inner loop inside my inner loop which is represented by let's say j column is equal to zero and j less than equal to i because j is actually dependent on i do not write j less than equal to five guys we have to keep checking because you can see in the first first row we have only one column second row two column third row three columns like that so total number of column values are actually dependent on the total uh, the respective rows over here so we have to write j less than equal to i over here and then keep increasing the value of j by one then i'll be using system dot out dot print not print ln so let me remove ln from here so what exactly initially were we were doing initially we were printing the value of a star right printing the star over here but instead of this what i'm going to do that whatever the alpha value that you are having it this alpha value what you do you simply keep adding j over here and then when you add alpha plus j let's see first time j equal to zero so what will happen alpha plus j will be 65 plus 0 equal to 65 and then i'll be converting into a character so i simple typecast into character over here so it will give you the character value and then when you print it see when i print it i want a space also you see this after a i have a space after b i have a space so i'll do one thing here only i'll put a space as well and then do not write ln because i want to write in the same line okay and then what will happen after this inner for loop i'll just print a new line over here right so this is a simple logic we will be uh, writing it so now you run it and here you can see the output is like that a b c d e f over here like this simple if you really want to uh, run it in the debug mode or you can really want to do a dry run you can simply do that first time i equal to zero i less than equal to five condition is satisfied j equal to zero okay condition is against uh, condition j less than equal to i yes zero is less than equal to zero condition is satisfied what is the value of alpha alpha is equal to 65 and then plus j plus j is equal to zero which is giving you 65 now 65 will be converted into a character the ascii value of 65 is what a so a it will give you what it will give you a over here right it will give you a so a will be printed on the console right and then j will be increased by one so j plus plus again it will check one less than equal to zero no one is not less than equal to zero it will generate a new line after that that's why the output will be like this it will come over here in the new line right and then again i equal to one next time one less than equal to five condition is satisfied j equal to zero and zero less than equal to i condition is again satisfied it will print alpha plus j so do not write plus i over here otherwise what exactly it will do it will print alpha 65 plus 1 is equal to 66 but my output is that we have to print a over here right so again we have to start alpha plus 0 converting into character and print 65 uh, give me 65 and then print a over here so a will be printed with this space so with this space a will be printed over here like this then j will be increased so j equal to 1 1 less than equal to condition is satisfied 1 less than equal to 1 condition is again satisfied 65 plus 1 is equal to 66 and the equivalent of 66 is what b you can see that the equivalent of 66 is equal to b so what exactly it will do in the next line it will print first of all it will come to the next line after first a it will print it like this then a then space then b like that right and the loop will be exited why because the condition is not satisfied because j will be after j uh, after this condition j will be uh, 2 now and 2 is not less than equal to 1 
So likewise, it will keep increasing the value of I and then J will be dependent on I and then keep running it and keep printing this particular statement over here. Okay, so let's run it again and then see what is output is coming. The output is like that. If you don't want to print a space, you can remove this. Let's see if I remove the space and then you run it again. The pattern will be shrinked like that. It's also a triangle, but without a space. Now, if you really want to print a small AB, like a small uh, letter, so we know that the small letter for uh, small A, so that will be 97. We have to write it. And let's see for uh, 97 is the ASCII value of a small A. So in this case, it will give you a statement like that. And if you really want to print a space, so you simply write plus with a space. So in this case, it will give you with the space pattern, alpha pattern. So remember this thing, guys. Both the uh, patterns you can print it like this. So 97, you have to use it for small a, and then you have to use what 65 for capital A. So if you start alpha value with 65, it will give you capital capital letters pattern, and otherwise it will give you with the small a 97, it will give you small a or a small alphabet pattern. So very simple logic and that's it. That's all for this particular video guys. Thank you so much. I hope you got the pattern now and uh, please uh, draw this diagram do a pseudo code. I mean write a simple uh, logic over here and then write your uh, logic in your eclipse or in your code and then you are good to go. Thank you so much guys in the next video. I'll coming with some more interesting alphabet patterns till then take care and I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe to the channel guys. Bye bye.